Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Drone Tech, and yes, I'm doing yet another video on that festering hive of vapid harpies, The View. <laughs> These women are the absolute worst, and I honestly don't know why I continue punishing myself and the rest of you with them. But what drives me most nuts is just wondering if these women know who they are, or if they're really just this deluded. Well, I think we got a little bit of insight into that question yesterday, when Joy Behar, of all people, actually came out in defense of Joe Rogan. But, I think there's something else going on here. <laughs> Should free speech that could be deadly still be protected under the First Amendment? I love how they picked this downright zany picture of Joe Rogan while Neil Young is pictured all stoic. All right, first off, it's infuriating to see such an important topic such as free speech be treated with an intro that looks like we're about to watch Klansmen and Black Panthers fight it out on Jerry Springer. Second, they asked the question, should free speech that could be deadly still be protected under the First Amendment? And you know that when they pose these questions, it's narrowly focused on anybody who's saying things that the establishment doesn't like. Meanwhile, it's perfectly acceptable for The View or CNN to spread misinformation like hands up, don't shoot. That leads to real death and destruction. Uh, we want you to know that our hearts are out there marching with them. Please put us your comments. Poppy Harlow is up next. Most of what The View says is misinformation. But do you think that when they say these things that they ever intend for those standards to be used against them? Of course not. They only expect it to be used against people that they disagree with. Where is Spotify? Is it Spotify's job to sort of pick this up and no. run with the ball? No. no. Whose no. job? It's not Spotify's job. We have a First Amendment in this country. We have to stick with it. You can't just pick and choose when you want to use the First oh, Amendment. I disagree with that. Okay. What the fuck? Obviously, I have a lot to say about this clip. But first, you know what we've been telling you about the sponsors of these segments at the end of my videos. So you know where not to spend your money. Well, now I have the perfect solution for all of us. We all know how the big box stores were allowed to stay open through all of this. While the little guys, small business owners, regular people were forced to stay closed. The wealthiest people in human history got wealthier, while mom and pop suffered. The question is, what are we willing to do about it? How can our voices be heard? We vote with our money. That's how we make a difference. No more shopping at big box stores with products that are stuck on cargo ships. PatriotSwitch.com helps Patriots get away from the big box stores forever. What if a whole bunch of us just banded together and walked away? We can shop Factory Direct at a family owned, Patriot owned, made in America manufacturer. That's exactly why Patriot Switch was created, with regular people like you and me in mind. We can finally stop shopping at these big box stores and take market share away from these companies that don't share our values and transfer those dollars to family owned companies for the future of our country. PatriotSwitch.com. Check it out. We have a First Amendment in this country. We have to stick with it. You can't just pick and choose when you want to use the First oh, Amendment. I disagree with that. Okay. Well, I'm going to tell you what I mean, what I think. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I agree that Joe Rogan is a horror. A horror. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. So we're whiplash back into The View's alternate reality where they're not a bunch of horrible shills and Joe Rogan is, quote, a horror, a horror. What the hell? I mean, tell me that you've never listened or watched Joe Rogan without telling me. Obviously, I don't know Joe Rogan, but from what I can tell from listening to him and watching him over the years is that he's one of the most chill, likable, down-to-earth people on this planet. The very idea that these ghouls are perching themselves on a moral high ground above Joe Rogan is almost more than my increasingly fragile sanity can take. Yes. But the way to counter that bad speech is with more speech. The way to counter it is with boycott, uh, boycotts. Mm -hmm. Um, I admire Neil, uh, Neil for doing this, Neil Young. He's from the 60s, you know, where musicians took political stands in those days. They what the? It's like I'm writing a bull on being whipped around here so insanely. First, she says that you either believe in free speech or not. Then, after mild pushback, she calls Joe Rogan a, quote, horror. And now, she's actually trying to compare Neil Young to the anti-establishment protesters of the 60s, who's now trying to use his non-existent clout to silence the free speech of somebody on behalf of the establishment. <laughs> 
really just consider for a minute that we all got together and tried to push the view off the air for misinformation do you really think that they would consistently apply their standards and voluntarily end the show or would they conveniently carve out an exception for their speech but 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 now now it's different. For your information, this anti-free speech propaganda was brought to you by Prevagen and Progressive. Use PatriotSwitch.com to avoid spending your money on people that hate you and are attacking our most fundamental rights. That's all I have for this one. Help the algorithm and this channel by smacking that like button, then leaving a comment to let us know what you think.